Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Unkanunik Mountain Perennials. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Margaret, when it's hot, when it's humid, gardening in the shade can provide a relief. Right? It's a place to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you're not really limited as we take a walk up here no. and people can see, right? No, you could go from big structural things like the rhododendron and the um, small tree that turns red in the fall to these giant hostas. You've got a still bay. There are ferns. There's all kinds of things that can go in giant a shade garden. Giant leaves, small leaves. Giant leaves and tiny mm -hmm. leaves. So what you're looking for in a shade garden is um, things that are somewhat structural with lots of different colors and textures and um, leaf shapes and you're also looking to put in things that will start blooming early in the spring and go all the way through fall for interest. Because I would think, you know, shade, I would think that you're kind of limited by colors and things like that, but you're saying no, that's not true. Not mm -hmm. necessarily. This particular shade garden in Uncanonic has partial shade to close to full shade, but it still gets enough low light in the morning and the evening so that you do get bloom. All right. So something that starts blooming early in the season right. would be what? So this nice gray leaf, sort of silver gray leaf, belongs to a plant called lungwort. It's one of the first bloomers in the spring, usually with a pink to purple small flower, All and right. sometimes even in late March. Okay. And next to that, you got the violets. Right? Next to this, you have a small violet that is still blooming in midsummer, and um, it has a nice small leaf, but it too is variegated a little bit. And this is a really nice group of plants. This is called foam flower. It blooms okay. usually in late May, early June. Lots of different leaf shapes, leaf colors. Some are heavier um, textured, some are very fine textured. And then coral bells. Your favorite plant. Yeah, right. Coral bells, which comes in all different colors and leaf shapes. And, and very, is easy to take care of. And is easy to take care of. And when you're in the shade, there are lots of different ferns. We have a lot of native ferns that will do really well in a shade garden. I particularly like this one. It's called Red Lady because the new foliage comes out kind of an orange and then it deepens to the dark green. It gives you a different color. In right. front of that also we have the astilbe. Right. Again, comes in lots of um, different flower sizes, different flower colors. And then we have the May apple. The one, one of the ones with the big leaves like hosta. Um, this is an early spring bloomer, and you can see that the flower was underneath the leaf. It's sort of a pale yellow, and you don't really notice it. It's a really great ground cover. Oh, and I forgot there's one more down here on the side. If I can hit you to hold that back sheet, no. Bring this one up. Yeah, that's a buckeye, and that's going to bloom in mid to late summer. And it has this huge spire you can see forming with a lovely pink flower. All right. Now, if I'd like some more information about these plants or when they bloom, uh, what, what can you tell me? Okay, so they have two informational sheets, um, which we'll post a link to on our website. One is gardening in the shade, the basics, and then the other one is all about ferns. All right. So for those hot, humid days when you're looking for a little relief, uh, gardening in the shade, definitely the way to go. Back to you in the studio.